tonight. Somebody scream. Maestro, I don't want a pickle, just want to ride my motorcycle. I always wanted to do that on television. Top of the morning to you, Wolves, Wolfettes, Cubs, and Cubettes all across America and all around the world. The Wolf Man with another exciting episode of TheBlues.TV. That's right, baby, the blues on your TV. But if you don't have a TV but you have a computer, you can pull us up on the web. It was put together by Rich the Spider-Man. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, he does whatever a spider can. That's another show for another day. But it's the blues.tv. Right now, we're going to shoot over to Lila like we always do. She'll run down the show like she always does. Then she'll throw it back to the wolf man, baby. Then we'll be ready to rock and let's roll. Got that from the president himself, El Presidente Bush. But we'll be right back with some more blues. Lila! Thanks, Wolf. Tonight's show stars the man who simply wants to be known as a storyteller. With his latest CD rising high on the charts, It Ain't Mine shows the versatility of singing Clarence. It has everything from the booty shaking, toe tapping sounds of Hole in the Wall to the slow ballads of It Ain't Mine. Singing Clarence is definitely one of the rising blues stars to watch. Coming up later in the show, we have. Pete Bootlegger Barbeck, and he's going to do his thing inside of the Blues CD Review. And CJ Wolf, she'll get you all updated via the Blues News. And tonight's Blues Giant, I think I'm going to make you wait and see. 
<laughs> Back to you, Wolf. And thank you, Lila. And thank you, Rude Rich from Jersey. And thank you, Spider-Man. And thank you, Richie Rich. Man has multiple personalities, like Sybil. Can you dig it? But anyway, dollars, we got a great show. Lila told me to stop saying hell of a show, so I won't say it, all right? We got a great show lined up for you this evening, so don't you dare touch that dial, sit back, relax, uncrouch your legs, and get ready for another exciting episode. Well, don't uncrouch your legs like that. Come close and put them together. That's not very ladylike. Welcome, my children of the night, my howlers and prowlers of darkness, connoisseurs of the blues. <laughs> Welcome to America's number one blues show, the, the, the blues. And now, the blues. Hey, y'all know what? I met this little girl just the other day. A tender fine thing. Her name was Hattie Mae. She told me she was married and that she was a freak. She rushed me to the motel and now I can't speak. I got a love in my throat and I can't make a sound. You don't hear me, baby. Ha. You know what? Every time I come up, hey, she make me go back down. Hey, hey. I met this little girl just the other day. A tender fine thing. Her name was Hattie May. She told me that she loved me and that she was a freak. She rushed me to the motel and now I can't speak. I got a love in my throat and I can't make a sound. No, I can't tell. Every time I come up, you know what, baby? She make me go back down. Somebody! I got a lump in my throat And I can't make a sound I know I can't sound Every time I come up I, She make me go back down Oh yeah, she do now Oh no, oh yeah I lack one love. Give it up, y'all. Give it up. It's all good. That's all More to blues later, later. Now here's Pete Bootlegger Barbeck with a to blues CD review. Hey, y'all. This is Pete Bootlegger Barbeck. Today I'm at Tower Records on Lemon Avenue in Dallas, Texas, and I'm reviewing the latest CD release of E.C. Scott on Blind Pig Records. Masterpiece is E.C. Scott's third release for Blind Pig and comes very close to hitting the mark. Filled with sassy hook laden R&B, soul drenched blues, E.C. Scott really delivers the goods with a voice that can be smooth and sweet or sultry and sexy and very brassy when she belts it out. Masterpiece is filled with witty lyrics, great melodies, and most of them were written by E.C. Scott herself. 11 of 12 cuts on Masterpiece are her own compositions. The one cover is Peter Gabriel's Sledgehammer, and to me, it comes very close to being better than the original. E.C. Scott is from Oakland, California, where she began her singing career in nightclubs at the age of 16, and she's based out of the San Francisco area to this day. She was nominated for a W.C. Handy Award in 1999 for Blues Soul Female Artist of the Year, and with the release of Masterpiece, she should be nominated again. Take my advice and pick up Masterpiece. It just may hit that blue nerve in your soul. Hey, this is Lucky Peterson, and you're watching the blues. And if you don't have that new CD, you need to go out and get it. It's called Double Dealing. And God bless each and every last one of y'all. I'm ready now. I know I've done you wrong in the past, but I'm ready now. Just to love you right. Yes, I'm ready. You know I'm ready, baby. I'm ready, baby. Yes, 
I want y'all to get this CD and play it way over in the midnight hour. You hear me? That's when it's real good, y'all. Let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. I am ready, yeah, to do you right. I am ready to squeeze you tight if you would only give me one more chance I will show you baby that I'm a man and darling, just let me dry <laughs> You hear me, baby? The tears from your eyes, baby, my baby, my baby. Just let me squeeze you tight. Yes, I am. Here's Lila Legs Lockwood with the Blues Giant. Pine Top Perkins was born in Belzoni, Mississippi in 1913 as Joe Willie Perkins. He was greatly influenced by blues legends Robert Johnson, Leroy Carr, and Pine Top Smith. One of his favorite pieces was a song by Pine Top Smith entitled Pine Top's Boogie Woogie, and it was this song that gave Pine Top Perkins his nickname. From 1943 to 1948, Pine Top Perkins was the regular piano player on the very influential live radio show broadcast out of Helena, Arkansas, entitled The King Biscuit Time Show. Pine Top began performing, touring, and made his first recording in 1950. In 1969, he replaced the late Otis Spann as the piano man in Muddy Waters Band, touring all over the world for the next 11 years. Pine Top Perkins went on to win seven W.C. Handy Awards and share the stage with major players like B.B. King, Sonny Boy Williamson, John Lee Hooker, Howling Wolf, Bobby Blue Bland, Eric Clapton, The Rolling Stones, and many more. 
Pine Top Perkins is known as one of the last piano players to carry that southern rural tradition. Pine Top Perkins, a de blues giant. I'm Lila Lockwood, and you're watching America's number one blues show, De Blues. And to her, the sheep are men. Standing again, up and get out of here, but before we do, we have to say thank you to some wonderful individuals who help out and make this show a possibility each week. Someone asked me earlier in the week, why do we always do that? Because we want to make sure that we don't take your love for granted. So let's get started. First of all, we want to say thank you to Sangin Clarence, the pride of Fort Worth. Thank you so much. Thank you to Arles Blues Palace of Dallas. The righteous Reverend of the Blues, thank you so much. And to Pete Bootlegger. Barbie, thank you. And CJ Wolf. And to Richie Rich, a.k.a. the Spider-Man, a.k.a. the Slicer Dicer, and the Aquifer. Rude Rich from Jersey. From Jersey. And to Graveyard Greg. Our official historical blues consultant. But most of all, we want to say thank you to you. But without you. There would be no need. For us. To be. Win. Here. Right. Now. So until next it's week. No black. No white. Just a blues. It's America's number one blues show. This is. We've got a videographer, we've got a historical blues consultant, we've got a senior review, but we need a driver. A limo. A limo. A limo. We'll start out with that. You got okay. your dollars? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you take coupons? Oh. <laughs>